Hi there, Danny here from GDL Automotive uh, with another one of our little Jeep videos. Uh, today is a really common problem we're seeing with uh, vehicles. Uh, the WK2 having problems with body control modules and um, transfer case modules. Now, these in themselves do fail, but we're seeing a big run of them failing because um, basically the little compartment that they sit in fills up with water. So I'll show you on this one behind us. It has, a, has not actually happened to this vehicle, but what happens is, if you're parking the car underneath uh, trees and getting sedimentary build up on the top of your sunroof, there's four drains, two that run down the front two pillars, and then two that run down the back two pillars. The, the front ones always block up first. So then when we do get heavy rain, the sunroof can't drain, the water spills over the edge of the tracks of the sunroof and onto the seats and center console and, and whatnot. And you'd know this because you get in your car in the morning after a big thunderstorm and you've got water in the car. But the biggest problem is the Jeep WK2, you'll have to go in front of me, Gordon. Underneath this, both the driver and the passenger seat are these little buckets. Let me see if I can light it up. So you can see. They're basically perfect for collecting water. And that's where Jeep and all their wisdom decided that these computers need to live. So that's where they are. There's a little um, mat that sits on the top of them. But if you're, if you're finding that you're getting your sunroof drains are blocking up and you're getting water in the car, you need to get onto that quick smart. Uh, otherwise you're gonna end up with this bucket full of water and then you're gonna need body control modules and transfer case modules, which are expensive. Uh, so I'll do another video to show you how to unblock your drain tubes. Uh, it's usually best done with compressed air, but I'll, I'll do another video for that. But if you're having troubles with any water getting in the car, you need to look at your sunroof drain tubes. Or if you're getting fault codes for um, transfer case module, you're getting a four-wheel drive warning light on the dash, or you're getting anything with body control module issues, check that you haven't got water in there already. It may be too late. Water and electrical things tend not to mix. If you found any of this useful to you, please do us a favour, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the little bell icon so you get notified when we release new content. Uh, we've also released a new Facebook page called Jeep Motive. If you could like and follow that page, maybe even share it with fellow Jeep lovers, that would be greatly appreciated.